like to welcome to Into the Fire, the incredibly talented 204 centimetre forward who's carving it up at the moment. Big draft mover with good reason. West Adelaide young gun, Tom Scully. Nice to meet you, Tom. Hey, you Joe. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. All good to have you on, mate. Now, like your namesake, who was pick number one in the 2009 draft? You're highly touted to go high in the draft. Have you been a bit surprised with all the attention you're getting? Better than no one knowing you, I suppose. Um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, obviously, oh, I probably wouldn't say um, high, but yeah, obviously, um, yeah, it's sort of nice um, getting a little bit of recognition um, sort of at this stage in time. But yeah, obviously, um, I guess there's a long way to go, um, I guess, in terms of draft sort of things. So yeah, just trying to, I guess, play um, sort of good, consistent footy. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I can really worry about now. Um, yeah, it's obviously nice going to be recognition, but yeah, it's all I can really focus on. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm interested to hear how you were as a youngster. Were you always tall or did you have a big growth spurt? Um, I was always considered uh, sort of like, not always like the tallest in the class, but I was sort of up, a, up around the mark. Um, yeah, sort of considered the second, sort of third tallest in the class photos, stuff like that. So footy photos. So, um, yeah, I guess um, I sort of had that real big growth for um, sort of about three, four years ago. Um, yeah, uh, sort of shot up uh, a few centimetres. Um, yeah, definitely sort of um, sort of filled out a little bit more. So, yeah, yeah that was sort of nice. I'm a bit of a growth spurt. So, yeah, I guess around two, three years ago. So, yeah. Yeah, did you have to eat much to get that big growth spurt or did it just randomly happen? Oh, it was, man, it was just, yeah, it was just natural. Um, yeah, no, nah, obviously I'm not over, like, I'm still a bit of a, still a bit thin. So, um, yeah, no, nah, obviously it was just natural. Um, yeah, so the doctors um, and all that sort of had sort of suggested that I was going to be tall, but they didn't know how tall. So, yeah, kind of just happened naturally. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing you're okay with being tall though. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, obviously, obviously it's nice. Um, yeah, it definitely helps um, when you're tall and some of your defenders. So, yeah, no, nah, it's all right. Yeah. Now, you're a good cricketer, is what I hear. How good were you? And I'm guessing you're a bowler. Um, oh, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't say I was um, an amazing cricketer. Um, yeah, no, um, yeah, just sort of play for the school team um, when I can in the summer. I um, really enjoy that. So, uh, yeah, don't mind um, coming in for a bit of a trundle um, and, yeah, and a bit of slog at sort of seven or eight. So, yeah, I no, don't mind that. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, always enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's sort of just a bit of a hit out with mates and um yeah um sort of it's always been a bit of a passion I guess so yeah yeah, yeah you've have you ever battered a bit um yeah I used to be I definitely didn't mind a bit of a bat when I was younger but then yeah. sort of as I got a little bit older sort of um and as that growth spurt came um yeah sort of I guess um developed more as a bowler so yeah no you um, definitely didn't mind a bat when I was younger that's for sure so yeah a couple of sixes here and there I reckon yeah, a couple couple bombs. Yeah, didn't mind it. Um, yeah, no, a couple out when they came out in the middle, they they go up. So yeah, awesome. What has been your journey from here? H have you always been a part of the SANFL and state system? Um, it was, uh, yeah. So my journey, I guess, um, started playing um, at Lockleys. That was my local club. Um, yeah, so started playing under tens. Um, yeah, and then sort of transitioned into the. Uh, uh, ADPs, the elite, uh, elite development squads for Wessie. So, um, trained with them during the school holidays. Um, yeah, no, never was around the state sort of systems. Um, only sort of was involved in that um, in the middle of last year. Um, was fortunate yeah. enough was fortunate enough to get the call up there. So, um, yeah, so just yeah, used to um, train with the Wessie's ADPs, um, play at Saza um, in primary school. So, um, and then yeah, obviously just worked through the 14s, 15s, 16s. Yeah. Um, well, not much of the 16s because it got cancelled. So, um, yeah, and then transitioned through the 18s. And, yeah, that was sort of, I guess, my journey. So, yeah. Yeah, how was State last year? State was good. Um, yeah, obviously, it was a um, really, uh, really, really good experience. Um, something that, yeah, I can take a heap away from. Um, yeah, no, obviously, um, didn't perform sort of. Uh, got was fortunate enough to play against WA yeah. um, at the back end of last year. Um, yeah, it was a... Really good experience. Um, yeah, obviously didn't play that well, but obviously, you know, you just take, you take it in your stride and you take your learnings. So, um, yeah, 
obviously I'm sort of hoping to sort of improve on that and yeah see where it takes me I guess so yeah yeah no it would have been a good experience though I'm sure <laughs> yeah you played largely largely as a ruckman last year and even by your own admission maybe struggled a little with your lack of a strong frame hey mate I feel your pain has that been a real area of work for you in 2022 yeah, definitely. Um, I guess sort of that um, strength and conditioning side of the game um, was something that I sort of really looked to work hard on over the preseason. Um, yeah, it's just sort of um, just sort of um, yeah found last year that I, I got yeah pushed out and sort of bodied um, a little bit too easily. So yeah, just sort of went back to summer and um, I guess try to work on that, but also sort of transition into a bit of a new um, new and sort of permanent role as a um, as a key forward. So. Yeah, I guess it's all sort of worked out well. Um, yeah, probably, I guess it's going to take a little bit more time to develop um, yeah. to get that frame and size that I want. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm loving my time playing up forward. And, um, yeah, hopefully maybe one day um, the frame sort of comes and, um, yeah, I can sort of maybe transition into sort of that ruck rub. So, yeah. yeah, definitely. I'm sure you will. Now, is it fair to say that you have absolutely killed the 18 so far with 37 goals in seven games, having 13 possessions a game and nearly four contested marks? What a start to the year, mate. Has your rise even surprised you? Um, yeah, um, no, definitely. It's definitely been a massive shot. Um, obviously, I guess the goal's sort of been um, a bit of a, I guess, key sort of start. Um, yeah, it's definitely sort of taken me by surprise. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely just a little bit lost for words for it. Um, but yeah, I guess I've just sort of, um, yeah, just sort of try and back it up each week. Yeah. Um, just try and play the best I can. And um, yeah, not much else really. Just, <laughs> it's just keep keep learning, keep trying to take my strides. So yeah, that's all I can really do at the moment. So yeah. Yeah, that's all you can do, mate. <laughs> now you're a very agile and have a great leap with sticky hands. A nice combination from a 204 centimetre bloke. It's actually unfair that you can do that at your height. <laughs> you remind me of Max King, to be honest. Is it up forward you see yourself in the future or do you still want that rock roll? Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess now sort of, I guess with that transition into um, uh, the key forward role, um, yeah, definitely like Max King's sort of um, the player I sort of um, look up to and sort of allies now. Um, yeah, just his um, freak ability um, to, yeah, get that separation, uh, that quick separation off his opponents um, and get on the lead. Um, and yeah, when he's when he's on song, he can really hurt. Um, yeah. He can really change a game, impact a game. Um, yeah, with him burning big bags of goals. Um, and yeah, just his um, aerial presence as well, taking those big, strong test marks, which is, yeah, something I've sort of wanted to try and emulate into my yeah. game. So um, yeah, he's the one that at the moment, yeah, I'm really sort of looking at and trying to, yeah, I guess, Try and add some of the stuff he does into my yeah. game. So yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not bad to be likened to Max King, is it? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so yeah, that's no, right. Yeah, you're a very good kick at goal. Can't show some of the AFL players how to kick a drop punt, can you? Seriously, you kick thirty-seven nine. How much work has gone into that, or is it just something that comes naturally? Um, yeah, there's definitely been um, a fair bit of work. Um, I guess last year, um, I sort of, it's sort of, I don't know, my goal kicking was sort of like, it was sort of noted as a bit of a um, sort of a strength, but yeah, I definitely had some work um, to do on it. Um, I guess, yeah, sort of just working on um, my ball drop and really making sure um, it's sort of, uh, the ball sort of staying still when I'm about to kick for goal. Um, yeah, so definitely sort of that. Um, yeah, sort of was a bit shaky to start against, uh, in the first couple of rounds, but yeah, I guess um, I guess you just sort of had to go back to basics, just sort of take a sort of slower approach in my run up, and um, yeah, I guess I've just gone from there, just sort of not rush, just sort of yeah, just let it take my time, um, take the full yeah thirty seconds or whatever it is, yeah. and yeah, just go back yeah. and try and kick it, I guess. So um, yeah, that's all I've really trying uh, tried to do. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, you got to play in the academy game against Collingwood Reserves. That must have been a cool experience. How did you go and what did you take out of that? Yeah, um, that uh, that game was probably, uh, yeah, one of the best experiences I've ever had um, playing football. Um, yeah, running around running around against um, some 
pretty um, talented AFL listed players. So yeah, in the likes of Trent Bianco and um, Cal Brown. So yeah, it was it was an amazing experience. Um, I guess performance wise, um, yeah, it probably went um, okay. Um, yeah, uh, probably should have converted a couple of chances on goal, but yeah, I guess um, there's not really much you can do about that. Um, yeah, just I guess um, yeah, just the pace of the game um, and the physicality. Um, that game sort of been my first sort of senior exposure to football. Um, it was yeah, it was a pretty sort of surreal experience. Um, yeah, just the yeah. bigger bodies. Um, yeah, just that physicality, um, just being up against them and just sort of trying to work your way to the front as sort of a key forward. Um, yeah, it was something that I yeah definitely took away from the game. Um, yeah, just. I guess the AFL system, uh, sort of the structure and system of the Collingwood side, um, yeah, it was definitely something to note as well, just the way they'd structure up down back. Um, and, yeah, so, yeah, I'll, um, some really good takeaways from the game. And, yeah, it's definitely something that, um, yeah, I'll never forget. So, no, it was really good. Yeah, it would have been good to, you know, like play against those bigger bodies, like get a bit of a taste of the AFL, you know? Yeah, no, it was really good. So, yeah. Yeah. Being part of the AFL Academy must be a great buzz. Have you made any close mates from other states? Um, yeah, so sort of being added um, for that um, sort of uh, three days. So, yeah, so I got added late. I um, uh, missed the first camp. So, um, yeah, so um, no, all the boys were really welcoming um, when I was uh, in the sort of that first team meeting. Um, yeah, no, it was a really sort of good sort of positive environment. Um, yeah, definitely. I guess um, everyone was a little bit nervous for the game, a little bit sort of anxious, a little bit excited. So yeah, all the emotions are there. But yeah, no, um, really good, great, uh, really good group of guys. Um, yeah, and I guess they just, um, yeah, I definitely felt like um, I sort of yeah felt a part of it. So no, it was a really good experience, and yeah, all the boys are amazing. So yeah, yeah, you make a lot of mates playing footy, don't you? Yeah, definitely. So no, yeah, that's good. That is a good part of the game. <laughs> Now, there's been a lot of talk about you playing against the bigger bodies, which I think personally is stupid talk, really, considering you'll build up that frame over the years. But nevertheless, have you got plans and maybe moving up to the reserves or a league team? Yeah, so I guess, um, yeah, the definite, I guess, goal um, yeah. for this year is to still try and crack into the senior team at um, Westies. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, coming off the back of that academy game, um, I definitely felt to myself um, I definitely could play um, at a senior level. But um, but yeah, I guess I just got to um, sort of keep working hard, keep, I guess, doing what I can control. And yeah, I guess that'll, I guess the sort of results and sort of um, selections will come later. So um, yeah, at the moment, sort of just worrying about playing my best footy um, at the 18s, which um, yeah, is all I can really do right now. So yeah, but I guess if the opportunity arose to play um some senior footy um yeah i'd i'd absolutely jump it jump at it and yeah take it i guess in my stride and take it and play to the best of my ability so yeah yeah that's it mate now with the nationals finally coming up after, after a couple of years of COVID affecting it it must be nice knowing that the carnival is going ahead this year how are our sa boys looking um yeah no the team's um stacking up really well um obviously uh, i guess it's a bit of a unique um year for us um in the fact that yeah we've got um lots of guys uh over 190 centimeters tall uh, i'm not sure the number exactly yeah. but yeah we are a, um we're a pretty tall um i guess state um yeah which should be interesting to play alongside so um yeah i guess um that can be sort of a real advantage an asset in the champs. So, um, yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. And, um, yeah, hopefully it should be a really good carnival. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I reckon it's going to be great. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so let's find out some more about you. What do you like to do in your spare time? Um, yeah, so I guess spare time. Um, yeah, in the summer, obviously, uh, as you noted, I'm a big cricket man. Um, definitely don't mind um, playing cricket um in the summer with mates yeah. um yeah don't mind um going to the beach um obviously living pretty close to henley beach which is the local um yeah don't mind sort of going for a stroll down there um a lot in the summer when it's nice and warm and the water is pretty good so yeah sort of those are sort of the two things that i like to sort of do um in spare time don't mind a bit of 
the odd basketball as well. So, um, yeah, sort of those things I like to do. So, yeah. Yeah, have any other hobbies outside of footy? Um, yeah, obviously, um, don't mind playing a bit of, um, I guess, uh, just a bit of basketball at the local, um, yeah. uh, local nets. So, um, yeah, I guess just sort of basketball and cricket, the two, occasional golf as well. So, yeah. Yeah. How good of a student are you? What was that, sorry? How good of a student are you? A student? Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. um, oh. Probably not. Um, I guess academically, um, yeah, academic probably not the smartest, um, you know, in the class. But um, yeah, obviously, um, definitely, um, do try and give it my all. Um, obviously, yeah, yeah um, me being in year twelve, um, sort of the big year. So, um, yeah, I guess probably not the smartest kid, but yeah, definitely, um, try and sort of yeah, really work hard and sort of yeah, I guess try and get the best out of my schooling. So yeah. Yeah, that's good, man. If you can be a footballer. If you couldn't be a footballer, what would you like to do? Um, I would definitely like to be a um, either a podiatrist or oh, yeah. a teacher. Um, so yeah, those two are sort of um, some, I guess, career ambitions um, after school. Um, if I wasn't a footballer, so um, yeah, I guess sort of just having, um, I guess, the podiatrist sort of things, just having a lot of ankle and foot niggles um, growing up yeah. um, with the growth spurts. So yeah, I guess just sort of. Um, it was something that, yeah, just looked a pretty sort of um, simple job. Um, and, yeah, something I sort of took a bit of an interest to. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, I guess secondary teaching is a backup to that. So, yeah, love sort of um, interacting, sort of interacting jobs. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. So, I guess those two. Yeah, awesome, mate. Who do you barrack for? Um, I'm a big port man. So, um, yeah, what? definitely don't mind the power. No, I'm going to have to give that the thumbs down, mate. Oh, you're crazy, so. <laughs> yeah. That was a showdown. A bit, a bit mad after that. Yeah, no, yeah, I was at, I was at the game actually, and um, oh. yeah, just uh, Dawson kicking that after siren. Um, oh. yeah, definitely, definitely shattered the heart. So it shattered, shattered the heart. So yeah, no, nah, it definitely was a bit of a bit of a dull moment, but yeah, uh, we'll <laughs> bounce back um, from then, and yeah, hopefully we yeah. keep going well. I guess you just have to look at the ladder, mate. Not looking good. Yeah, part. I know. Yeah, the crows are like <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, no. Nah, ah, well, hopefully we go. Hopefully we have a good second half of the season. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. Potential, I love the fact that you kick goals and plenty of them. I need a man who can use a celebration, and you are that man. A guy who can take the celebration to the next level. I'll trust you, mate, with mine. The into the fire. You like it, mate? No, it looks good. I do. I'm a big fan of yeah. No, I like the celebration. So yeah, no. Hopefully, um, yeah. If I'm yeah, hopefully we'll try and look it out. So no, it'd be good. Yeah, I'd love to see it out on the field. <laughs> well, yeah, no, be right. yeah. Well, it's been great chatting to you, mate. You're an absolute legend, mate. And I can't wait to see you get on an AFL list to one lucky club. Thanks, mate. Cheers, LJ. Thank you for having me, mate. Really loved it. Cheers. Good Thank you. Everyone.